What's good, BitRushers? My name's D5Brains, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. Today's video, we're going to be doing another how-to tutorial on creating NFTs using the random generator from Hashlips. In today's video, we're going to cover creating different character classes or races. For example, if you had aliens, apes, and maybe some bulls, and all three of those different characters had completely different character sets, but you want to create them randomly, how you go about doing that, we're going to cover that in today's video. So make sure you guys smash the thumbs up on the vid. Go ahead and sub to the channel if you aren't already. You can find links in the description below for all of my social media, my Discord, and everything relating to today's video. If all that sounds good, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, as usual, we're going to start over on Hashlips's GitHub and we're going to be downloading the art engine. So if you guys haven't done that already and you need a little bit of help with that, go back and watch some of my previous videos in this playlist about creating NFTs. I cover this in just about every video, so I'm kind of going to skip it here. But to download and install the Hashlips art engine, you need to download and install Visual Studio Code and you need to download and install Node.js. Again, if you need help, go back and watch one of my earlier tutorial videos. Go ahead and click here into the R engine, and um, basically you're gonna see the latest version here with the README and everything. Make sure you give him a like on his GitHub, and if you want, go follow Hashlips's uh, YouTube channel as well. He has a lot of great tutorials as well, and it will be linked in the description below. I'm gonna go ahead and just download the code here. Okay, so download zip. And that's basically everything you need to get going. We're gonna pick up where we left off in the last video within Visual Studio Code. All right, so opening up Visual Studio Code and then going to the folder where you have your files built. I'm just gonna show you guys that here real quick. So open folder and I'm gonna be in test cubes one okay so that's where i am you guys won't have all these different ones they'll most likely just say hash lips art engine main if that's what you downloaded i've cloned the folder several times and i have different builds and different tests that i'm doing so feel free to do that as well so you can keep an original version of the code unedited in case you make a mistake and you need to go back um, again i'm just going to open up that folder there i'm going to cancel it since we're already open Okay, at this point, you're going to come to the source folder, open that up, and go to config.js. Now, as we've mentioned in several tutorial videos before, this is where you're going to make all the changes for your code. Um, you're going to name your collection, give it a description, all that good stuff. And I go through in one of the last videos, I believe it was the Solana one, all the different features here within the code. Today, we're going to strictly stick to um, just generating different versions of characters and what you need to get that done. So the main thing is when you come down here and you have your constant layers, you're going to see right there it says grow edition size 2. And um, if we look, that basically syncs up from here to here. And it, that basically syncs from this top open carrot to the close open carrot. And it has all of our different things set up. Now, I've already done a few different things, like change the name here. So um, if you want to display a different name, you can do a comma after it, after the folder that you're looking for, and options. Um, you'll see, I open another bracket, and I have display name. And then in uh, double quotes, you can put what your display name is, OK? So if you guys follow along the code there, um, you can do that to change the name back so it stays the same. It'll make sense here in a second. So again, from this top um, open bracket to the close bracket, we're gonna just copy that. And we just hit enter underneath and control V and we now have another set. Okay, so um, coming to the side layers, you'll notice from previous tutorials that all of your folders need to match up with the names that you're listing right here, okay? So right now I have a blue cube and a CN cube. So um, they're both kind of blue color, but they're a little bit different shades. And what you guys can see is that each one is gonna have a different under the cube. So um, if it's a blue cube, it's obviously gonna have a blue under the cube puddle. And if it's a CN cube, it's gonna have a CN under the cube 
um, puddle. And it would be like that for any other color. If we made a red one or a blue one or an orange one, whatever we wanted to make, we would need a special um, basically grouping here so we could get those right layers strictly for those. So I'm just going to change this right here where it says under blue cube. You can see that I have an under C and cube, so we just need to change that. And then also where it says blue cube, we're going to change that to C and cube. And again, guys, you can name them anything you want. You just have to make sure that your folders where you actually have these files, right, that they're lined up and they match and they say the right thing. Um, you'll notice I have the pound for um, the rarity. So we covered that in the past tutorial. I'm not going to cover that in this one. Again, go back and watch my previous videos there. Um, but that's basically it. So from right here, we can do that. We can do that as many times as we want. If we want to add an orange one, like I said, just copy all of this again and copy and paste it in below. Okay, so do that as many times as you guys need. You won't have this display name here. Um, I had to add that in, so the comma options. And there's different options that you can add in. Again, on the Hashlips tutorial, you guys can check the README. And there's a bunch of information for all of the different options and things that you can have. But for me, I want both of them to be labeled under cube and cube, regardless of what color we're doing. So that's why I have those display names to override the folder names. Okay, the next thing you need to do is grow addition size. You're gonna do the total addition. So for here, we grew addition to 25. If we want another 25, this one would be grow addition size to 50. Okay, so you're going to put all of the total numbers. So if we did it again and we wanted to add another 25, the next one would be grow addition size to 75. And you're just going to add on and keep growing the addition size to however big you want it. The next main thing that you guys need to be concerned with is the shuffle configuration. So if we just saved and ran it like this, it would do 25 um, blue cubes and then 25 C and cubes, but they would be in order. So the first 25 would be one color and the second 25 would be the next color. So to fix that, we come here to shuffle layer configurations to true. And I'm just going to turn off this GIF. I don't want to build the GIFs right now. And if you guys are having trouble with this, uh, I actually ran out of memory and it was because I was using this GIF thing. So it took me a little while to figure that out, which is why I wanted to tell you here in this one. So if you're trying to build out those GIFs for promotional reasons and you're running out of memory, I do suggest turning that GIF off. It just creates an extra um, folder for you. So we don't need it. It's not necessary. Uh, maybe you want to do it just in a few of the tests so you can save those files outside of um, this folder and keep them for promotional purposes. Uh, but for me, I'm just going to turn that off again. So when everything looks good, we're just going to save this file. And now we have two different character sets, right? We have our blue cube and we have our CN cube. We're going to grow the total to 50 and we're going to shuffle those layer configurations. And to be honest, I thought that this meant something different in the beginning. I thought it meant it shuffled the order of the layers. It doesn't. It just shuffles the numbers of your actual NFT. So it's going to create them in a random order. So they're not, you know, 1 to 25 and 25 to 50. It'll randomly generate them in random number order. So let's go ahead and do that when everything looks good. If you've configured everything the way you need it to be, again, you just need to save that file. Open up your terminal, new terminal. And um, we're going to just do npn run build. And that should build out our 50 NFT. So let's go ahead and test it out right now. And you can see here it started with number 50, then it went number 40, then number 3. So this is the way it does it. It just chooses random numbers as it's building. And that does, you know, shuffle it. And if you had multiple sets of these, like I said, we only have two characters here, the blue and the CN. But in my final version, I have up to like 20 different versions of different characters. So it definitely comes in handy to be able to sort these and shuffle them. After it's done building, we can come up to build folder and click on images folder and we'll be able to see some of these cubes that were created. So that's basically it guys. Um, I am using this for the chill cubes. As you can tell, these are just a few tests. 
We're working on the final renders today. I've already done several final tests, just kind of tweaking the rarity at this point, but looking really exciting for what we have to come. Again, these are just two of the character classes out of 20 that we have ready to build. If you guys aren't familiar with what the Chill Cubes is, it is my project chapter two to the crypto pumpkins that we've launched in october and we are minting here later on this week january 28th so go ahead and look out for us thechillcubes.com and again all of that information will be linked in the description below if you have any questions on this video and tutorial you can buy a crypto pumpkin join our discord server and verify and you're able to enter the nft mentorship program that i have and i'll help you with any of these tutorial videos that i have on my channel and help you be able to get through this process with the um, Hashlips art engine and even help you with some of your smart contract questions if you do have any but again if you'd like to support me be ready to mint a chill cube on january 28th and if you happen to watch this video in the future go ahead and pick one up on open sea because we got lots of cool things coming like a angry bird style launcher for your nft going to be an exciting game we also have some token drops coming so i'm super excited about everything hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if so so smash that thumbs up again sub to the channel share it on social media with any of your friends or family or anyone else you think may enjoy this video learning how to create different nft characters with the hash lips art engine again thanks for watching guys happy crypto and let's keep getting those nfts